Mark Andrews comes in at number four. Consistency rank of number six. Andrews was funny because there were so many weeks in which he was banged up, missed practice, didn't play. He really didn't put up the same kind of numbers against top-end, tight-end defenses, almost 10 fewer points per week. 60% good games, 33% great. Had the most deep targets amongst tight ends this past year, which is 20. That's as many deep targets as Tyreek Hill. Andrews was somebody that put up double-digit touchdowns, one of the few players in the NFL that did that this year. Uh, 98 targets and a big play type of guy. When Lamar Jackson was escaping the pocket and looking downfield, Andrews is a big man. And you saw it again in the Pro Bowl. He just likes Mark Andrews, and he's a weapon. So he's solid year. Very, very solid year for Mark Andrews. He's just he's really difficult to gauge moving forward because the, the talent is undeniable of Mark Andrews, and in the same with the connection with, with Lamar Jackson. But he was he not on the field because of the injuries and always being banged up because he averaged about 43% of the offensive snaps for the Ravens. And that's, I mean, that's not the type of, of play that I'm going to bet on a, a big season coming through for a, for a tight end. I just don't care because of the target totals. I don't care about the snap percentage with the way that this team runs. When Mark Andrews is on the field – He's just the go-to receiver. That's right. And what I'm saying is, like, I'd take him over Waller next year, and and that's fair because I I don't think I'm I'm not taking a hard stance against Mark Andrews, but this was exactly the the type of thing where I was like, dude, I'm I'm so out on Eric Ebron coming into this past year because it was it was he was never on the field. He had 13 touchdowns of the of the of tight ends who are in the top five for fantasy. Andrews is the only person who had more than six touchdowns. And, uh, yeah, it's great. He's great he has the touchdowns, but we know the touchdowns fluctuate. Like, next year, if Mark Andrews has – The same stats has but with five, five touchdowns. touchdowns right. And it, it won't be that surprising of a thing. The big difference to me is the target share, though. Because er Eric Ebron did not have a high target share in that in that. He often. did, actually. His target share. His target share in 2018 was he had more targets than Andrews had this year. No, I know he had more targets, but they threw the ball more. The target share, the percentage of targets that went his way, I would be shocked if they're the same because Mark Andrews felt like a centerpiece of the Ravens' offense outside of you know when he was injured. Well, and yeah, and we have the fact that it's you know the same offense going into next year, the same quarterback. Andrews is a valuable weapon, but Mike's right in the sense that. You know, five touchdowns next year would not surprise me at all. And then you look at a PPR format. Are you happy with 64 for 850 and five? No, not, not for where you're going to draft Mark Andrews not, next year. Not for what you're going to spend, right? Right. So yeah, that, Mark, that Mark would be Andrews the challenge. a higher part. target percentage. Do you have the, the numbers? 15.5% for Ebron, 23% uh, for Andrews. Yeah, they just that's don't a throw, huge number. Because they don't number. throw very much in Baltimore. Yeah, and so that I guess that's what I'm saying. That's where I see a big difference is that – he was central. I mean, 23% market share for a tight end is that's a very phenomenal large. number. I mean, that's George Kittle in and, Kelsey. And so I, I believe he is too integral to the actual offense, uh, whereas Ebron was very touchdown dependent and wasn't as integral to the offense between the 20s. He probably won you five weeks. If you had Mark Andrews, weeks yeah, by 1, himself? 2, 10, 11, and 16, put up those kind of performances where that – tight end differential was impactful for you. So, you know, you can look at it both ways. You can say maybe the touchdown number regresses, but are the Ravens going to be last in the entire NFL in pass play percentage each and every year with this Lamar no. Jackson system? No, but the concern for the Ravens is if you it, you get a perfect storm of regression where if Mark Andrews' touchdowns come down also because Baltimore is not scoring at the same pace that they did this year, which – they scored a lot. They, it, they won't score as many touchdowns. I, I I would put the bet on. They won't score as many touchdowns next year as they did this year. It's just one of those statistical yeah, things that Yeah, the Chiefs happens. just did they, it. They overachieved on a, on a big scale. So, again, I'm not saying I'm betting against Mark Andrews, but there are certainly red flags. I want to see, like, where's his ADP? Is the game – well, I can 
take Travis Kelsey here in the third, or I can get Mark Andrews in the fourth, at that point I would be completely out on on Mark Andrews unless he's dropping to like the sixth round or so. Yeah, yeah I, I would mean, take Andrews in the sixth over that third rounder for Kelsey. Yeah, you'd be like mathematically dishonest to assume the same number of touchdowns for Baltimore right. next year. There should be a lower a lower number. Get Zooks! You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. If you want to see more, click that subscribe button.